Welcome to the highlights from last night's 2-1 victory at home to TOT in the Thai Premier League. A game that happened on Rene Desaira's birthday, but I think it's perhaps a birthday present he'd rather forget. We were delighted to invite our friends from ISB, the International School of Bangkok, just on our doorstep to play an exhibition game, to visit our museum and then to be mascots for the game. The children were absolutely fantastic adverts for their parents and for their school and we hope to see them back at the stadium very regularly in the future. So when the game started in front of the South Stand and all their wonderful flags and singing, Mung Tong played very well. They were right on the front foot and they appeared to realise that there were no other opportunities other than a victory because of the fact that Buri Ram were later to beat BC Terro 2-0. Tillerson was at the heart of all the action. His movement and his passing as ever was exceptional, but what's even better at the moment is his work rate. A scuffed chance early on perhaps should have done better. But Tillerson is the complete package of course, but now he's added to it more of a grit and a steely determination. Header by Eddie Valdo just went wide. He was to be the player of the game and another excellent performance. His positioning and his calmness on pos in possession is really something to behold. But the chances kept racking up until Eddie Valdo, calm as you like, edge of the area after a knockback, put the ball over Weira, the visiting keeper, of course, who used to be at Munton, and then it was chest pump time between Mario and Eddie Valdo. That appeared to be the chance to seal the game, and then there were lots and lots of chances to put the game to bed, which were spurned time and again, and always at the back of people's mind there was this nagging feeling that TOT were going to score and equalise. But, a good save by Weira, some reasonable defending, but also excellent goalkeeping by the flying Cohen, who was then to have, of course, a terrible end to the evening in a freak accident. Tillerson again putting players through, Mario this time who had no confidence in the shot, his balance was poor, he really should have rifled that home and that would have been just before half time, pretty much the end of the game. And still the chances reigned in, Eddie Valdo will be a bit disappointed that he couldn't keep that header down, but again his positional play is absolutely exceptional. A good shot from the edge of the area, but Weira was equal to it. And so the chances continue to rain down. The scrambling defenders, the excellent on the line defence and goalkeeper together. Time after time, the goalkeeper was tested. Very nice chance by Mario. Beautiful bit of curl. Uh, as you uh, will probably know, he then became a goalkeeper, bizarrely, for the end of the game. So, as the game progressed, you needed a magic man, and the magic man found his moment. Look at the way that he changed his pace. And look at the way he offers the ball. He controls it just far enough for the defender to think he can get it. Drags the defender in. And an alluring shot. It really is a magic man. He's got gold dust at the end of those boots. I don't know what Mung Tong and Thailand would have done without him over the years. And still such a young player. As he develops and now he's improved his work rate. He's got everything. He really has. And then we have the shuffle celebration. Which uh, perhaps divides opinion. But then the Poznan by the south stand to really what we would expect to put the game to bed but still TOT looked dangerous and then disaster on so many levels poor defending the players allowed a chance to score even on the line Mike can't get it and Cohen at first we thought it was a broken wrist but it appears to be a dislocated elbow and talking to Andy the goalkeeping coach the massive German goalkeeping coach afterwards he said they were able to relocate to put back the elbow but they're worried that there'll be ligament damage. So Mario went into goal. Uh, didn't quite look the part, but luckily he didn't have a shot to save. The header should have done better than the, the TOT striker. And after the game, he talked to our nigh and top about the performance. About seven games or something like this, and every time we know we must be smart and play good football. Today we, we, we played very, very nice, especially first half. And uh, this moment, 93 minutes, Tong uh, is injured and I stay on goal to help the, the team and we won, this is important and forget this, this game and look forward, like always. Uh, 
realistically, it looks like the title is over now for Muntong United. To get so far into the season with Bully Ram undefeated does appear that it's going to be second place. But now we've got to look forward to the FA Cup semi-final against Bully Ram and a chance to get to that final and get a Champions League spot for being the FA Cup winners. I think those three defeats early in the season have really come back to haunt Muntong, particularly the Sapambri defeat. So Pambri, Bangkok Glass and Bori Ram have all beaten Muntong. You know, sometimes when it's a break, and uh, for me this is not strange if I have chance, but better don't have, better uh, don't come back or some another goalkeeper. But today, sometimes it, in football it happened this situation and we must be ready for, for everything. Talking to René Desaira after the game, he was pleased with the crossing from the left side, but he was very disappointed with the one-dimensional defending, particularly at 2-0, to have so few players, particularly on the left side of TOT, to try and snuff out the attack. But at least it was three points, and at least it clears them away from Chombury and puts just a touch of pressure on Bury Rao.